So today we're gonna be making some of my favorite sounds on the Perform VE. We're gonna be doing interesting, weird ambient sounds. And this is something I think the VE excels at. And I think this is because of how the sample button works and how it will flatten your pitch and time stretch the sample so that when you play things across the keyboard, they all kind of sound at the same time, they have the same envelope. So uh, let's start by getting a sample. And I'm gonna do a really gross, terrible sounding sample. So I apologize in advance, but then you'll see how cool it sounds once we add effects and start playing it back. So it's gonna be super pitchy and gross. You've been warned. <sighs> Just like listen to that back one time because that's so bad. That sounds terrible, but when I play it back, because of how the VE affects the sample just automatically without me doing anything, it actually sounds pretty okay. Like it's it's not as bad as it was when I inputted it. Um, it's definitely not as good as it can get though. Now since we're doing ambient sounds, I think the trick here is just to add a lot of reverb and delay, as is my trick normally with any sound. So we're just gonna add a ton of the hall reverb. And we're gonna add a smidge of some pretty short delay. That sounds pretty cool already. This is a usable sound. I could make a cool song with this. But I think we can make it better. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of the variable gender mapping using the morph parameter. And what this does is, as you move across the keyboard, your gender parameter changes. So. So you can hear the gender shifts as I move across the keyboard. Which makes it way more interesting and dynamic as I kind of play that ambience. there's not enough. So that's actually a really nice sound in my opinion. If you just play one note of that and let it ring, it's actually kind of beautiful. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but I like this sound a lot. Now what's really interesting about this sound is how the variation in the sample that I recorded is, is creating movement in the sound and that's something that's really hard to do with another synth. If you're using just a regular subtractive analog synth or something, you need a bunch of LFOs and envelope generators, maybe a sequencer to try to recreate that type of movement. But using the Perform VE, it's super easy because you just input your voice, which is like the easiest thing to manipulate because you've been doing it since you were a child and you can make that movement instantly. So let's just do a different sample with the same effects and hear how it sounds. I love doing a little pop and adding some delay. So what's fun about this is it's just so inspiring. You can mess with different samples, you can get creative, do what fits your song. Also, sampling words or phrases and using those for ambiences can sound really cool as well. So I'm just gonna say the word helicon and let's hear how that sounds. Helicon. Tough for me to admit, but on that sound, maybe there was too much reverb. So if we dial that back a bit. 
And this can really easily stray into the kind of the modern pop vocoder stuff. And we'll do a different video that shows how to do that. But for now, I think I've shown what I wanted to show, which is that the VE is really good at very quickly creating interesting, super unique ambient sounds. And there's just nothing else out there on the market that can do the sounds that perform VE can, especially not anything that is this portable, this affordable, or this easy to use. It's so flexible because what you're inputting is your voice. So you can really do anything with it. Your options are limitless. You can get creative. And that is what I love about the Perform VE. Stay tuned for next time where we talk about more sounds that you can make with this.